All right guys, so here's the beauty of being a strength and conditioning coach, but even more important being a movement coach is that it doesn't matter who walks through the door, you will always be able to help them if you understand movement and you can speak that language because movement is something that is universal. We all speak it and uh, it contains so much information when we know how to observe and describe it. Now when it comes to uh, observing movement, you need to always utilize a movement as a diagnostic tool and this is something that I learned from uh, Kelly Starrett. Uh, if you don't know who Kelly Starrett is, he's a very well-known physical therapist, made a huge impact in the CrossFit world, has transcended beyond the CrossFit industry into military law enforcement and uh, just PT in general. Uh, and he just has such a vast understanding of how to mobilize the body, meaning how to treat it and how we should treat it ourselves and then how we should apply it to movement. So he's really a powerhouse in this concept. And one of the things that he says is utilize every movement as a diagnostic tool. For example, let's say I'm squatting. If I have a hard time squatting in this position, getting my hips below my knees, I know that my hips are probably a little tight. So what do I need to do? I need to go mobilize them. How do I mobilize them? Well, there's a million ways of doing that and that's something that we can talk about in other videos. But for now, it's just understanding that. If I am squatting and I have a hard time keeping my feet flat, and I start seeing my heels come off the ground, what's happening? Well, I have a ski boot for an ankle. I don't have the ankle mobility to actually be able to establish that flat foot shape with a full hip flexion and full knee flexion. Now, if I'm the person that can't squat and realizes, oh my God, I'm getting to this point and I just don't have enough of that knee flexion, what do I have to do? Well, I have to go mobilize that. So that's really important that we understand that. Now. From another perspective, if I take the concept of blocking movement and I take that old man squat progression, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back in the archive, look for old man squat or squatting progression, you'll see what I'm talking about there. But if I take that, for example, bending over, putting my hands flat on the ground. If I can't put my hands flat on the ground with a straight leg position, I know that my hamstrings, probably my posterior chain, is a little stiff. I need to mobilize that. I need to utilize that as a diagnostic tool. Now, if I am here, bending over, and I start bending the legs and my heels start coming off the ground, what do I know? Well, most likely, I have pretty stiff ankles. So what do I have to do? I have to go work on that. Now, let's shift gears really quick. Let's think about the push-up. If I can do a push-up here, no problem, but if I turn my hands around and all of a sudden I realize that my wrists are about to blow up or my forearm feel like it's about to tear, guess what? You need to go mobilize that because these positions, having your wrist at full extension, is actually something that's gonna be required for handstands, handstand push-ups, walking on your hands, catching a lift overhead. Utilize every movement as a diagnostic tool. And if it's not allowing you to see what is wrong, see if you can pull it back, peel it back in its progression, bring it to its origin. And where's the origin of a progression? Well, it lies within that anatomical position. Bring every movement as close to this shape as you can, which was feet together, standing tall, right there. Take that into your push-up, take that into your squat, and you will start seeing what is missing and how you can fill those holes to fully improve your performance.